Mr. Putin has now done an interview on Russian television saying that the saying how much he condemned the terrorist attack, saying that the terrorists were driving after the attack, the terrorists were driving towards a um, the Ukrainian border. I think that's uh, a little far fetched. Uh, he doesn't identify who the terrorists are. He says that they are all in custody, and. 19 hours after the attack, he finally emerges. He talks of a barbaric and bloody act of terrorism. The criminals cold-bloodedly and deliberately set out to kill, to shoot our citizens, our children, at point-blank range, just like the Nazis once carried out atrocities in the occupied territories. They planned to stage a public execution, a bloody act of intimidation. He says, uh, Russia will identify and punish everyone who is behind these terrorists. At the same time, a, a Russian news channel has put out a deep fake video, which is demonstrably deep fake, uh, where Ukrainian officials are presented as supporting the terrorist act, which I think is far from the truth. It is quite um, shocking that this combination is already in existence, but I think the, uh, the the tell is the time lag between the event and the response, 19 hours, and the, uh, the blame game is pernicious, and, uh, and, and this on the, on the back of the change in rhetoric to describe the special military operation. Uh, there is no doubt Mr. Putin is feeling significantly more confident following his, quote, re-election.